Hello, and welcome to the Honeywell MaxPro Cloud how-to video series. In this video, we are going to cover how to configure door settings in MaxPro Cloud. To access door configuration, first go to MyMaxProCloud.com and log into your MaxPro Cloud account. Once logged in, from the dashboard select the menu icon in the upper left corner of the page and then select Customers. Choose the desired customer on the left and then select the desired site from the list of sites in the middle. Once the Site Overview page opens, select the Devices tab on the left. Ensure to choose the correct controller at the top. All the devices that exist on that controller will be displayed in the list below. For Net Access 123 controllers, the list will display all the doors on that panel. Select the desired door from the list and the overview for that door will appear on the right. Clicking the edit icon in the upper right allows you to change the name and associations. It also allows the enabling or disabling of the second reader and egress, but only one may be enabled at a time and never both. Clicking on either the egress or out reader icons will toggle this feature. Ensure to select save at the bottom to commit any changes. You may also edit the pulse time and shunt time for the readers by clicking on the reader icons while out of the edit mode. This will open another window for the door settings. The pulse time is how long the door relay is energized upon a valid card swipe and the shunt time is how long the input is shunted during this event. Additional settings are available by selecting the settings tab at the top. These are specifically reader settings and allow you to edit the name of the reader and set schedules for the different reader modes. To edit these settings, select the edit icon in the upper right. If you set a schedule on a reader mode, the reader will operate in that specific mode during that schedule time. This applies not only to the type of access, such as a card only or a card plus pen, but also for the standard supervisor and escort modes options to the right of each dropdown. From here, you may also enable the duress and anti-passback options, set the anti-passback options, and choose the duress output. The anti-passback option may only be enabled if this feature is enabled on the controller, otherwise it will be grayed out. The duress option requires an operational mode of card and pen to function, therefore it cannot be enabled unless a schedule is set for the card and pen mode on this same screen. Select Save at the bottom to apply any changes to this window. This concludes the steps to configure door settings in MaxPro Cloud. Remember that the MaxPro Cloud Web Help Configuration Guide provides a wealth of information and additional step-by-step -step instructions. It can easily be accessed from any page in MaxPro Cloud by selecting the question mark icon in the upper right corner of the screen and selecting Help. The guide will launch in a separate window from which you may browse or search topics. Additional resources may also be found at HoneywellDiscoverTraining.com. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.